All right, ladies and gentlemen. So my goal with this one is to kind of help you um, with the dividing fractions using a tape diagram. So I grabbed a couple different examples. Uh, so let's start with this one. So it says, a builder needed to buy 38 boards, 38 boards. Okay, you know, I'm always going to try to grab, um, you know, the numbers and stuff that are in the, the question first for his latest project. If the boards he needs come in packs of five, how many packages will he need to buy? Okay, so let's see. So I have 38 boards from the question. And you're going to see, I'm going to break it down this way. Okay, 38, 38. Now they come in packs of five. So that means that this is a pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this would be a pack of five. Now, if they come in packs of fives, the point with the division is how many packs of five do I need to get to 38? Well, so I'm just going to do some very quick division. 38. So how many times five go into zero, or five go into three? Zero. How many times does five go into 38? So you got five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So that goes seven. Now, so seven times five is 35. 38 minus 35 is three. He still needs three more, okay? So let's go back to the tape diagram. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This seven matches this seven, okay? But remember, I still needed three more, okay? So if I take this little five and I break it into pieces, so that's one, two, three, so that's one, two, three, four, I'm going to get myself another line there, one, two, three, four, five, oop, I gave myself too many lines, try that again, so that's one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, four, five, there we go, okay, now, I only need three of those, one, two, three, okay. Only need three of those, okay. But how many packages do I have to buy to have at least that many? Well, I need to buy eight packages, but I'm going to end up having two boards left over. So I need eight packages, but I'm going to have two boards left, okay? So I used my division, I used my um, tape diagram to kind of work through that. All right, so let's grab another one. And we'll get a second example. All right. Well, it feels like we're just in class, right in class, aren't we? Just like we did in class. I had the same problem in class, grabbing it and making it bigger. There we go. Click, drag. Whee, we're getting her. There we go. All right. Let's take a look at this one. The roller coaster at the state fair costs three tickets per ride. Three tickets per ride. If you have 32 tickets, how many tickets would you have left if you rode as many times as you could? So it's three tickets per ride and we have 32 tickets total so I'm going to divide 3 into 32 3 goes into 3 1 time 3 subtract 2 okay 3 goes in that 0 so we have 2 left over okay 
Okay, so 3 goes into 32 10 times with a remainder of 2. So let's take a look. Now, the roller coaster at the State Fair costs 3 tickets. So that's 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, and hold on. So this is one ride, two rides, three rides, four rides, five rides, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they are my rides. These are my tickets. Okay, so now we already did the math down here. So I can ride it 10 times. I can ride 10 times. This 10 is the same as this 10. But I'm going to have two tickets left. That would be, let me change colors. That would be these little two tickets. Oop, not right there. That would be my two little tickets right there so that two is that two is that two i'd have two left over two okay three tickets per ride three times ten equals thirty i had thirty two tickets to begin with i have two tickets left okay let's go one more All right, see if we can do this again. Plus, image, dividing fractions using a tape diagram, number three. I'm going to put my pen down. I'm going to tap it. There we go. That can be taught. All right, another example. A librarian had to pack 25 books. 25 books into boxes in each box can hold eight books so that means one box holds eight books we have 25 books total how many boxes does she need well let's see one box holds eight books, 25 books total. So if I take how many books can be held divided into the total books. So eight books into 25. Let's see, eight goes into two, zero times. Eight, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 24. So I can go three times. So eight times three is 24. And then I have one book left. Now, a librarian had to pack 25 books into boxes. If each book can hold eight, if each box can hold eight books, how many boxes does she need? Well, let's see. There's eight in this box, eight in this box, and eight in this box. That's eight, 16, 24. Okay, so that's 24 books. That's this number right here. So this is box number one. This is box number two. This is box number three. But we have a box number four right here. Do we need the fourth box? Well, we have 25 books total. So that means I need to put one book in this box. So I need that box. So I need four boxes for 25 books okay this box will have eight books in it this box will have eight books in it this box will have eight books in it but this box will only have one book in it so we need the four boxes but this one will only have one book in it this one will have eight books in it this one will have eight books in it this one will have eight books in it 
So you can start to see how you can use the tape diagram and the algorithm or the, as I say in class, do the math. Okay, that works too. All right, so there's three examples of how to divide fractions using the tape diagram. And I threw the algorithm in there too. All right, guys, I hope that helped.